Are you curious about how hackers exploit vulnerabilities in outdated systems? Today, we are diving into Metasploit, the world's most used penetration testing framework to exploit a known vulnerability on Metasploitable machine. So stay tuned to learn how you could master this powerful tool in your cybersecurity toolkit. Hello and welcome to the Ultra Blue channel. In today's tutorial, we're using Metasploit to exploit a known vulnerability on Metasploitable. And as you already know, Metasploitable is a purposefully vulnerable machine used for training and cybersecurity. So this demonstration is crucial for understanding how hackers breach systems and how you can defend against such exploits. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest contents. Let's get to it. To begin, you have to open up a terminal and then let's first confirm or let's first ensure that Metasploit is installed and is working in our system. And to do this, simply type in MSF, I mean MSF console. Then we hit enter. If MS, if Metasploit is installed correctly, you should see the Metasploit console start up any moment from now. This might take a full moment depending on the number of times you've used it before. If it's your first time using it, it's definitely going to take um, some few more time in loading. So with Metasploit up and running, let's identify a known vulnerability in our Metasploitable machine. For this tutorial, we will exploit a vulnerability in the VSF TPD service. It is an old insecure FTP, I mean F TPS server. For this, we need the IP address of our Metasploitable machine. So to do this, we have to switch to our Metasploitable machine here. I have mine already here. I'm going to log in, which is um, MSF admin, right? Yes, and the password is MSF admin. By the way, these are the default password for Metasploitable. So let's see where we are. PWD. Yeah, when MSF um, admins main folder. Wait, so now let's move on to our Kali Linux machine, specifically our Metasploit. And then for this documentation, oops, we have to get the IP address of our Metasploitable machine. So to get that, we just have to type in ifconfig. And then we hit enter. And we have our IP address here. The IP address is 192.168.137.129. So now that we have our IP address, let's go back to our machine. And then let's we'll be using since we'll be using the VSFPD exploit, let's confirm to see if it is there. So to confirm that it is there, just type in SEH search space VSF TPD. Hit enter. And as you can see, there are two of them there. Now, the Metasploit will now go ahead to list various models related to VSF TPD. We are interested in the second one, the Exploits Units FTP Backdoor. Since which actually exploits a backdoor in the VSPD version 234. So, let's select the, the option 1. I don't know if it does right to say option 1. Great. So, next. We need to set the IP address or the target's IP address. To do this, type, simply type in. Before that, we have to select one of these exploits. And since we are interested in the second one, let's go ahead and use it by typing use space followed by the name of the exploit you want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Copy. And then I'm going to go and paste. Now that it's pasted, I'm going to hit enter. And then we are going to we are using it now now let's go ahead and set up the targets ip address so to do this we are going to type in set our hosts the arrow host simply means the remote host and then we'll space it i mean we'll space it by specifying the ip address we'd want to um target so our metasploitable ip address was 192 
dot one three seven dot um one two nine yes and then we we'll hit enter wait so our remote host is also set up now we also need to set the payload the default payload for this exploit is usually sufficient even though you might download custom payloads but i think this would work perfectly so you can list the available payloads with the following command show payload invalid parameter payload did i spell anything wrong payloads actually payloads great so we have our payload here which will work perfectly so now for this documentation we we'll use the default payload to do our exploit so now let's go ahead and set up the payload so set space payload I'm, going to, I'm not going to type everything i'm just going to copy it and then i'll paste and then i'll put a space bar here i didn't finish copying it also payload great then i'll hit enter great our payload has been set now with the targets and payload set we can now go ahead and run the exploit and hope it works so to run the exploit simply type in exploit and then you hit enter so it's going to go ahead when exploit will now attempt to exploit the vsf pd vulnerability if successful you'll get a command shell on the target machine this indicates that the exploit worked and we can now and we now have remote access to our metasploitable machine so just like that we've been successful in hacking into this machine over here now let's go ahead and list the directories so ls and then these are all the directories in the metasploitable machine let's go and see we have media we have um users we have um let's go ahead and check what's in the home directory so cd home and then ls and you can see that we have the users we have these are the things we have under home let's check out the msf admin msf admin directory let's go ahead again and try this command again so cd space msf admin then we hit enter great i think i misspelled something there so ls and then we have some folders here so i created a folder in our metasploitable machine here if i go ahead and list it you see that there's a folder called um ultra blue security.txt so let's go ahead and try to find out what's in that folder so to do this just type in uh let me use nano so nano space followed by the name of the document you want to open it's a txt file so let's go ahead and see what we find inside there so we hit enter and it says please subscribe so that's it in exploiting you can now run commands you can now run various commands on a machine as if you were logged in directly. This is a powerful demonstration of how vulnerabilities can be exploited to gain an authorized access. As you can see with our Kali NS machine, we're able to gain access to a whole new machine here, which was our Metasploitable machine. To summarize this, we use Metasploit to exploit a known vulnerability in the VSF TPD service on Metasploitable machine and this process highlighted the importance of keeping system up to date and understanding how attackers operate. So by learning these techniques, you can better defend your system against similar attacks. Thank you for joining us on this detailed journey through using Metasploit to exploit vulnerabilities. We hope you found this tutorial educational and informative. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the Ultra Blue channel for more in-depth cybersecurity content. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Until next time, stay safe and keep learning.